Hey everybody, I wanted to show you some of the progress I've made on Potion. So if you remember, I showed you in a previous video the tech infrastructure that I'm building. And I started to, I decided to start out with the Notion API because this is what I know the least about. I'm not sure how this works. I've never used Cloudflare, which I've decided I need to use for this, the best option, money-wise, financial-wise, and speed-wise, I think. Um, so yeah, there's the most unknowns here, so I think I'm going to start with this first. Because really my first goal is just to be able to make a static site of w just one Notion page um, and get just that working. Um, so yeah, this Notion API is actually, it's the unofficial API that I'm going to be using. And so I'm going to host on Cloudflare. Um, so we're going to have to see like, you know, how this is going to work. So here I, I, I got my Cloudflare worker, they call it, set up. It's basically just like a serverless serverless backend um, with some endpoints. Um, I think I have one endpoint for hitting pages and one for getting like database data in Notion. So I set this up here. This is all good to go. <clears throat> and then, so if I go to this Notion page, so this is a, a public Notion, Notion page. This was actually one of my previous uh, little startup endeavor ideas, kind of doing like a service thing. I made this public uh, Notion page to like uh, share it with people. But anyways, I'm gonna take that Notion ID up in the URL. And if I go here, oh, I already have it there, but you get the idea. If I go here and I hit this endpoint, um, we get all this data. Um, these are basically all the blocks of the Notion page. And so this is just the whole thing. You know, this is all these different blocks of all the different text, images, all the data, everything for that one page. Um, like you can see this link and yeah, all that stuff. And so this is what I am getting from Notion API, which then of course I will use uh, to render some UI. So pretty sweet.